Hey guys, I got a quick video for you today. I'm going to demonstrate how to airbrush single stroke script lettering on a t-shirt. To begin, I'm going to say I'm using an iWater Eclipse air gun. I have removed the handle on the back just for my own personal preferences. I'm using about 80 PSI and I'm using Aquaflow and Wicked brand paint. For the beginners out there, I'll quickly describe how an airbrush works. After it's connected to an air supply and a paint source, you press the trigger down for the air and then you can gradually pull back for the paint. This gives you the ability to adjust the line thickness while you're spraying. To speed things up, I've already airbrushed a simple heart design on this t-shirt and now I'm going to spray the names on it. I'm going to start out by holding the airbrush about a half an inch away from the surface. As a general rule of thumb when you're spraying script style lettering, your downstroke is going to be thicker and your upstroke is going to be on the thinner side. So on your downstroke you're going to pull the trigger back a little further and as you go up you're going to let it go back in. You're always going to hold the air pressure down though. So here we go. There the names are sprayed with Wicked Black. You want to pay attention to the size of the letterings, the height, the distance between each letter as you're spraying. Now I'm going to come in, I'm going to come in with Fluorescent Violet and I'm going to do a drop shadow. I'm going to come down to the left and to the bottom of these names. And I'm going to hold the gun a little further away and I'm going to lightly haze a drop shadow. With the same color, I'm going to write the word forever in the same single stroke script for the music. And I'm going to give it a drop tail as well. Now you could call this design complete. Uh, but I'm going to add some stuff here in the negative space. You could use starbursts, but I'm going to use some scroll work. I'm going to start here at the top. I'm going to do a little half a heart. And I'm going to come off. Do a little scroll. Do the other half. Go the other way. I'm going to give this section a little drop shadow. I'm going to come back and add just a couple little lines here. I'm going to fill this area, in, this area down here in with little little circular scrolls. Whatever you do on one side, you want to kind of mimic on the other. Scroll work is really the same as doing your lettering. It's the same thick to thin motion. Once you get that down, the possibilities are endless. finish it off with a little line right here. Now I'm going to come in with my opaque white. I prefer Aquaflow opaque white. I'm going to come on the top of the letters. I'm going to start out stay in one spot and give it a nice bright highlight and come off with a little dagger stroke. You have to clean the tip of the needle off occasionally. And on the bottoms of them, I'm just going to add these little dots to get a little more shine. Add a little forever. The last thing I'm going to do with the white is I'm going to add some starburst on the heart. It doesn't really matter if you go low with this lettering a little bit, it's not a hurry thing. 
And right in the center, I'm gonna kind of stay there, give it mostly air, just a little bit of paint, back up as I'm doing it, and give it a nice glow. Put another one over here. There you have single stroke script. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'm Ken Johnson.